Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. All right, now, no Rusty out here tonight. It's again, it's, it's kind of late, it's about 11 o'clock. Um, Got to go see uh, the film debut, a short film my son was in. that They were debuting at this little festival in downtown Cheyenne today, uh, tonight. And uh, it was freaking amazing. It was awesome. Uh, as soon as it's posted, uh, so I hope, I'm hoping it'll be posted somewhere on like YouTube or somewhere online. I'll give you the link for that in a future video. It's a movie called St. Bernard about some superheroes and uh, my son's one of them who loses his power and it's, it's just a really cool little movie. It's a short film, 26 minutes long, but it was freaking awesome. So proud of uh, my, that's my older son, Justin. I've got three really talented kids. Uh, they all have their, their strengths and, they, and they're all good kids. And so it was really neat to be able to go uh, do this, see it on the big screen. Uh, tonight and get to do that. So kind of took a break off everything else today. That's like I say part of this whole project is um, Also to spend time with my family. That was the whole point of this I get to spend time with my family and do this whole project and I got to see that great uh, film tonight Then tomorrow night I'm gonna go see a show that he's in uh, through the school University of Wyoming in Laramie So that'll be fun. So I told you today I was gonna take out the mattress and the tray uh, the main mattress the main tray and everything uh, today, pull the vinyl off the back wall. Well, we haven't gotten to any of that. Because um, uh, I, I kind of ran into a snag last night, and I was looking at it again this afternoon. And uh, I think I'm going to have to rethink the whole project. Yeesh! Where I had planned to put the cassette toilet, right behind the passenger seat, um, after I got that cabinet down last night, and, uh, and I was looking at that wall again today, I looked at it last night briefly, and I found an extra support in there I wasn't expecting. And it's not going to be wide enough for the cassette part to come out, and for the door I need to put in the wall. So I've kind of run into a giant snag. Uh, yeah, I could cut into that support that's in the wall. I really hate to do that, because it's at the bottom of the wall. So it's supporting everything above that. And that's what those bolts uh, up the wall were mounted into. They go up further up. And if I'm going to use that for structural support, kind of hate to cut out the support in the bottom. It makes me a little nervous. So like I say, kind of hit a little snag here. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, right here, here's where the uh, that other cabinet was. Here's where the toilet was going to go. And may or may not still but see here's the wall back here and okay so you pull out this little false wall here and you can get back into the insulation and stuff and see right down here you have a support there you have a support there you have a support there that is not very wide right there I need it to be wider than that so I've got to put that door in the cassette part itself might still slip through there but the door's got to be in the wall, and that support right there would have to go away. And I, like I say, I really hate cutting into that. The one that's to the left of that, if you follow up the wall, that's where the uh, bolts are. But that one's in the wall, and it's a support for the whole structure of the truck. Really hate to have to cut it out. So this is where I may have to rethink the whole position of the cassette toilet. So, you know, I've been thinking about this project for weeks now. And I thought, oh, that's the perfect place for it. And yes, I could return the cassette toilet and still put the toilet there in the same spot, but I'd have to use just a porta potty that's not going to have that pull out black tank that just is so much snazzier and handier. And it wouldn't be as firmly mounted. There is a plate I could get for the other one, that Thetford Curve. So I could still put it there. So that may still be an option. And I might have to return the one I bought or just simply sell it on eBay or maybe bring it down to the RV store in town and say, hey, you want to buy this from me? So that's one option. Like I say, uh, maybe I can rethink how I'm going to put everything that was going to go below the upper bunk system. Uh, so that's what I'm out here doing tonight. I'm kind of measuring things. Kind of looking at things, seeing what options I may have. Now here again is the cassette toilet. I was going to, like I say, uh, put it right here. You know, but there's 
a support. This cabinet in here, right here, this is the side cabinet where I'm putting my water tanks, ends at about here, but then there's a support right there, there's one right there, and there's one right there, and then I've got my stack, exhaust stack to deal with. But that's where I was gonna try to put it. Well, that may not be an option now. See the uh, position I have my toilet in now, this area here is gonna, would, would need to go into an outside wall so you can pull that cassette part out. This does have a neat feature. You see how you can rotate the actual part you sit on. All right, well normally it would have been that way. Well, I can rotate it sideways. The whole thing will stay still. So that I can put that on an outside wall and you zoom into it this way and plop and do your business. So an option may be, since I already have this side door here into that side box where my water tanks are or was going to go, that might be an option. It just means where do I now put my sink and my closet that we're going to go up there inside in that area. So this is what I've got to think everything through. I have found the, this is the door for the cassette toilet. See, it would fit here into this door. So I could do that, but I'm gonna lose some stuff inside. I'd have to cut into the wall inside. That wall's already, that wall's already been cut into for the ducts, that's where they used to go up. They're all just kind of lying down here now from the APU. And I could maybe get rid of that wall and just continue the floor back here. So this would be where the toilet would be. But now what do I do with my water tanks? So this is where I'm having to rethink the whole project. You know, you're always gonna run into snags, problems on projects like this, but kind of wasn't anticipating this one, but uh, we'll, we'll let it all stew up here in the noggin tonight and see what I can come up with. So that's about all for the video tonight. Uh, you know, like I say, got a lot of thinking to do. <sighs> Give, uh, see what options I have. Like I say, I can put the, the door for the cassette toilet into that door that is already there. The space is wide enough, it's tall enough. Uh, the side of the toilet could definitely go against that wall. I can rotate the toilet bowl so I can, you know, back into it from behind my seat. I would just lose the space where I was gonna put my sink and part of my closet. So this is where I've gotta rethink the whole thing. Is it worth it to try to keep the cassette toilet? Should I go with the just porta potty, which I could definitely put in the spot that I have designated for it now? Um, should I try to put it on the other side? I've gotta basically re-plan uh, everything that's gonna happen below the uh, new upper bunk. So there's where we are, you know. You do something like that. I, I, I didn't have blueprints on the truck had I had that in the first place. Uh, you know, that would have been helpful. Um, I didn't anticipate that, the extra supports that were in the wall there. So, gotta rethink it. Uh, I'm gonna come up with a new plan. Hopefully within the next day or so, I'll have my new plan and I'll have my solution. Uh, certainly, please, if you have any ideas, any suggestions, uh, throw them in the comments. Would love to see them. You know, on stuff like this, uh, more than one set of eyes uh, always helps. Uh, if you've been following along the whole process, you know what I'm doing. You know what my basic plan is. So, like I say, I would love to hear your suggestions. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment if you'd like to, only if you'd like to. I'll get to your comments as soon as I can, probably within the next day or so, uh, or day or two, day or so. I'm trying to say two things at once. Um, and don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram and Twitter. I haven't put anything up there in the last couple days, but I will again soon. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty sleeping inside. Out. Hey, Lawrence, let me ask you something. On your job, you know, if you're not, you come in on a Monday, you're not feeling well, you're just not feeling up to it. Does anybody ever come over to you and say, it sounds like someone's got a case of the Mondays? No, man. Shit. No, man. I think you get your ass kicked saying something like that.